Hi everyone, it's Suzanne and I'm back with another video and this video is just a little haul that I picked up from Sweet and Sour Lacquer and I wind up getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think eight polishes, two different collections that she has like a few smaller collections and then I wind up picking up her rewind polish for July that you could only purchase on her actual site. So let's just get right into it. The first polish we're going to look at today is What Are You Doing in My Swamp? And this was the rewind polish. And this is described as a chartreuse base with blue, green, yellow, gold shimmer. And this was inspired by Shrek. Um... I remember having this on my wish list um, at the time, but it just didn't make the cut for whatever reason the month that it actually came out in PPU. And um, after people got it, a lot of people raved about this. And then when it came back for Rewind, she had it on her site. And she has a pretty, I think she has like $65. If you spend $65, you get free shipping. But for the month of July, if you purchased her polish pickup, um, you know, if you purchased her polish pickup polish that was on her site, you only had to spend 35 or 30 and you got free shipping. I can't remember if it was 30 or 35. Um, but I had been on the fence about this and I thought, well, might as well get it. So it's a little bit like you're definitely going to see a nail line. It's got good coverage, but it's just the coloring. It's making it sheer. If you just tried to do one coat, let's see if we put two coats on here. This is really pretty. Um, I definitely think on your nails, this is going to have to be a three coater or you're going to put a blurring base coat on there. Um, in person, it's coming off like greenish yellow. In my camera, it's coming off more yellow tone, more yellow tone but it is very pretty. Um, like I said, I was on the fence about it the, uh, the first time around. It just didn't make the final cut, so I thought I'm going to get it. So this is What Are You Doing in My Swamp? And she had a bunch of things I had been eyeing on her site, and I tried to contain myself, but I wound up picking up two of her collections. The first one I got was her Vacation Mode collection, which is just basically four creams. It's a four-piece cream set. So let's just look at those. And the first one is Ocean Breeze. And this is just described as a seafoam green base cream. So these are just... Um, all four of them are just creams, but I remember the pictures of them. They were so pretty. And she had like a spring, um, I think she called it, it was a six-piece collection, um, spring cleaning creams. I so wanted those. They're like pastels. They look so amazing. But I talked myself out of them. And I have never had a cream from Sweet and Sour. She makes amazing cream formula. I really like it. Very pretty. Um, but these were a little bit brighter than the pastels. Um, even though this one to me kind of looks pastelish still. Um, so I just decided to pick these up instead to see if I liked them because I don't know. I couldn't decide which one I liked better, either these, the vacation modes, or the spring cleaning, and this one was Ocean Breeze, um, so I just decided to get the smaller collection to see if I liked her creams, because um, I was buying some other stuff too, so I was like, I don't really need six creams, and some of the other ones I feel like I have colors in similar to, even though I still want them, I still feel like her her spring cleaning ones I have some color similar some of these I might too I'm not really sure off the top of my head and this one is called summer soundtrack and this is just a fuchsia cream just a really kind of like that mix she calls it fuchsia um I would call it orchid between pink and purple just a really pretty like pinkish purple cream nothing fancy but it is really nice and I just remember seeing the pictures 
um, the swatch pictures of these and I thought oh they look so pretty like that looks so pretty in person it's so bright it's not a bright but it's just very um, colorful I guess because it's not really a bright um, just very very pretty 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 on the swatch pictures I saw so this one was summer soundtrack and next up is windows down radio up and this one is described as a deep periwinkle cream this just looks so pretty all of these look so pretty these four creams i'm excited this one looks like it might be my favorite of the four. Oh my gosh that is so pretty i love a periwinkle of this coloring Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. It's kind of like a mix between a blue and a purple, maybe, is what periwinkle is. I'm not sure, but I do love um, a periwinkle or a nail polish that's this color. This is so pretty. That is really pretty. That's probably my favorite so far. Super pretty coloring on that one. And this is Windows Down, Radio Up. And then the last one from that collection is called Calories Don't Count. Would that not be nice? And this is just a deep lilac cream. Like, I feel like I have something in this coloring in my collection. But I love these shades of purple. These, like, she's calling it lilac. I would call it, like, a lighter like a lighter purple oh my gosh it is really pretty i guess this is a lilac um oh my gosh it's really pretty it's just a really light light purple you know i think these creams are really nice too they seem that way on this watch wheel at least um i like to wear them on my nails first before i give 100 percent judgment but Oh my gosh, they're really nice. Like, that is super cute. That collection's super cute. So, this one was Calories Don't Count. And then, next up, I got another little collection she had. It was just a three-piece collection, a trio. And it goes kind of with um, her PPU Rewind that she did. It's based on Salad Fingers. And this is just like the sister polishes or the cousin polishes to it. And um, I don't know. I just wanted to get them. Because um, that show is kind of like, I talked about it in my PPU video, but that show is kind of like dark. You can search it on YouTube if you want salad fingers. It's kind of dark, but um, my children, my children are older, or two of my children are older. Um, all of my children are older, though. I guess they're all teenagers. Um, but my two older children and I watched it and it was kind of, you know, it's got funny parts, but it is kind of like dark humor. Um, so the first one up is called, I wonder what you taste like. And this is an indigo blue base with blue, purple shifting shimmer. And I wound up picking up the one that she had in the PPU rewind. So I thought, I just want to get that whole collection for whatever reason. I thought they were cute. Oh my gosh, this is really pretty. And I don't have, you know, my collection is a lot of brights. And these are kind of darker. And I thought, oh, these will be good to wear in the fall and the winter. Even though, like I've said before, I'm not really a season. This one is so pretty. Uh, the blue shimmer in there, like, yeah, it is really pretty. Um, I'm not really a seasonal polish wearer, but I'll wear whatever, you know, strikes my fancy. But I do tend to probably wear, you know, more darker shades in the winter and more brighter shades in the summer. But you will see me probably with some bright shade in the winter um, just because... I love brights, but oh my gosh, Ooh, I'm glad I got this. I was on the fence about this collection because I was like, like I said, I'm normally, that blue shimmer is just so, uh, 
it just hits right oh my gosh that is beautiful um i was on the fence about this one because i'm not usually a super dark polish person i'm more of a bright polish person but i just wanted this this one is i wonder what you taste like and then next up from that collection is called a pleasure for the tips and this is a deep purple base with green blue shifting shimmer. Look at that. You can see that green in there. That is really neat. This is really neat. Um, but yeah, I was on the fence about this collection, but I thought I don't have a whole lot of, you know, darker colors. So I was like, and these aren't really super dark, um, at least not yet. Oh my gosh. I like this one better, but this is still pretty too oh my gosh um these aren't super dark i mean most people probably would say these aren't dark but oh this one definitely darkens up with a second coat i like it better with the second coat and that green shimmer really comes out but to me these three are darker polishes oh my gosh this is really pretty i can't wait to wear this this set oh my gosh super pretty that green really pops when i lay that the swatch wheel down and this one is a pleasure for the tips and then the last one from that collection is i like rusty spoons which is a dark teal base with pink copper gold shifting shimmer look you can see that that pinkish gold shimmer in this oh these are really 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 shimmery super cute i'm super excited to see what this one looks like okay so it's definitely like a deep teal like she described you can see it a little patchy in that first coat but i think it'll be fine in the second coat yeah patchiness gone especially on your fingers it would definitely be gone because you would let it dry you know more than two seconds because i'm only letting it dry just two seconds um my favorite is this one but i love them all of that collection i'm glad i got that like i keep saying because i was on the fence but i am super excited to wear those hopefully i'll get them on my nails this fall or this winter but i'm super excited about those so pretty and this one was i like rusty spoons so those are all the polishes that i picked up from sweet and sour lacquer this time around if you've ever purchased anything from sweet and sour lacquer i'd love to know what your favorite polish from her is because it's kind of a new to me brand i guess i've purchased a few polishes here and there from her from um polish pickup i'm not sure if she does hhc i don't think she does but i've purchased a few polishes here and there from her from polish pickup and i have been in love with everything that i have purchased from her and this was my first time doing a full order from her website and i am not disappointed i am very excited for these polishes and if you like nail polish content, please consider subscribing to my channel because I do videos like this all the time. And I also do monthly giveaways to subscribers of nail polish. I hope everyone has a great day. Bye everyone. Keep polishing.